I was supposed to meet my family here, but they're not in sight. And then you just want to choose. They were waiting over there. But really, thanks, kid. Alright, so now we reunited him with his wife. And we want to head back there and find them. Let's go. They should all be back together now, I hope. Mm. Oh, well, here's his wife. I finally met up with my husband, thanks to your help. I can't thank you enough. I was reunited with my wife, thanks to all of you. But now my boy's missing. He went into the woods alone. Oh, no. I guess he went looking for me since I was late. I better find him before the fiends do. <laughs> my son went off and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's save the game. Okay, now we've got to go find the kid who ran off away from his parents and convert this cloudy mirror into the celestial mirror. So it's very easy. Just head back up this uh, road, the rainbow road. And now we can go up this little pathway, which we couldn't before. And there's the kid. It feels like there's something around there, doesn't it? Yeah, there's definitely something around there. I wonder what it could be. Let's use the cloudy mirror. And... Obtain the Celestial Mirror! Sweet. And there you go. You found my dad, thanks a bunch. Bye bye! Yay! Not only do we find your dad though, we got the Celestial Mirror, which means we can unlock all those treasure chests with everyone's ultimate weapons now. So let's head to a save point and head to the Comland, where we'll start our little journey to get everyone's final weapon. Board airship. Head to Comlands, and I'm trying to think what will be the first one I want to get. Um... Well, first we gotta get Titus's. The only thing that's kind of annoying with Titus's is, um, if you remember, all the way in the, in the northwest Comlands, there was a guy blocking the path to something. That's actually where you get Titus's ultimate weapon, but you gotta beat all the dumb races again. Or you just gotta do all the races again. You don't really have to beat it, so. Yeah, we'll find the trainer guy. He should be around there somewhere. Here he is. So we'll find them. Um, we're gonna. Let me train one. We're gonna train one because we have to go through this mess in order to get that guy out of there. So we're gonna go through all. I'm gonna go through all these four of these again, and I'll meet you back when I'm done. See you in a few, a few seconds, hopefully. Okay, we're back again. <laughs> a lot of editing I'm gonna have to do in these episodes. Oh my god! But anyway, yeah, we redid all the the race again, and now we should be able to go get Titus's ultimate weapon. Of course, the Titus' ultimate weapon is not going to be so ultimate until we combine the the crest and the sigil, but I'll show you how to do that later on. It's not that hard. Okay, so the guy's no longer blocking here. The Celestial Mirror seems to react. Let's use it. And... Antidus got his ultimate weapon. Not so ultimate yet. Catalog bug. If I go show it to you, which I'm gonna do here, let's say we wanted to equip it on Titus, you'll notice it has a no AP ability than three blank slots, so it's kind of worthless right now, to be honest. I'll show you how to not make it so worthless. Not too. F maybe an episode or two from now, not too bad. Trying to do, I want to try to get all the side stuff done in about a week before heading to the to the finale area or to finally beat Sin. All right, so now we can go get T, uh, Yuna's ultimate weapon, which is just on the other side of the Comlands near the arena arena catcher guy or the arena trainer, or whatever. Right in here. If you remember, there was a treasure chest in there that we cannot unlock. Should be able to unlock it now. Let's give it a shot. Celestial Mirror seems to react. Use it? Yes! Nirvana! Yay! 
Cool, man. Alright, so now we got Titus and Yuna's ultimate weapons. And while we're here, we might as well go do the other side thing. So we can get our final... Not final Aeon, but our final side Aeon of the game. And then we'll be done with collecting all the side Aeon Aeons. And all we'll have left to do is get a couple more of the weapons. And Sigil is in the works, and we'll be done. So, we want to head to Remium Temple now. Uh, the air, remember, I, I went through earlier and I said, uh, we, later on we'll be heading back to challenge Belgamy. Well, yeah, that's what we're going to do now. So, it's all the way here near the entrance. There should be a Chocobo Feather. Here you go. Jump down. Head in. Okay. And let's head directly into the temple this time. If we ever get there, I feel so slow with Titus. Holy mackerel. Come on, Titus. Today? Jeez. <sighs> Come on! Finally! 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 There you go. And the door opens! Welcome, Yuna. What is this place? Rimium Temple. Once a great religious center in the Calm Lands. Lost after the battle with Sin. And this is your home? What? You got something against company? <laughs> it's a long story. Easier perhaps to show you. You're dead, <laughs> of too. Course. Who isn't Don't dead? Don't send me just yet. There is still one thing left for me to do here. With the help I can give, a young summoner might just be able to defeat Sin. Well, you know, I challenge you. If you cannot beat me, you'll never beat Sin. We'll do it later. Hmm. And I'll show you I why. See. Because we're going to go to our config menu and we're going to make the Aeon sequence short. Because we're going to have to fight a million Aeons, so don't want to have to well, you know, go through watching we all the well summons. training serves you? I'll do my best, and we start with Valifor. Very well. Before we begin... Now. now I'm ready, let's go. And this is a little time-consuming, but that's why I shortened the, the summoning sequences. But I'm gonna show you the first... What is it? The first five or six Aeons. Are, they're all at... This is probably the, one of the easiest side things to do in the game. I'm gonna take them all out real easy. Choose your, Choose your Aeon. Aeon well, no problem. Anima, and that's all I'm going to keep using until, of course, you have to fight Anima herself. So, let me show you how easy this thing is. Come, Anima, show me a power. Oh my god, we got Seymour's mother. That's an Aeon, how scary. So, technically, do we snatch her from Seymour? Does just everyone have the same Aeons? Never understood, but we're gonna use pain. We're gonna use pain on Valifor. And this may hurt you, Valifor. Ooh, 15,700 damage. Let's see what your Sonic Wings does. 366. Police! Eat the pain! The pain! Oh! Dead. Bye bye, Valifor. Everybody wave Valifor goodbye. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. That is enough. That is enough. Next. I made progress. For that, I'm glad. Take this. Four lightning gems. Yay. Let's do it again. You've got quite a name to live up to, daughter of Braska. I'll do my best against Ifrit. Very well. We're ready. Let's go. 
Am I really? Am I gonna have to speed up these battles or something? Cause this is gonna take a while. Now we gotta go through Afreed. Then we gotta go through Shiva. Then we gotta go through Myth. Then we gotta go through oh, everybody. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. And look, and I shortened the sequence of these summons. It still takes a while. It's crazy. Choose your I will. Hand. I'll choose her well. Anima. Come, Anima. Show me your power. For we shall conquer Ifrit. Yeah, yeah. Oops, pain. Ready? Come on! 15,800. You got Ifrit 400. Oh man, you're getting better. Ready? Pain! Motherfucker! Pain! Dead. 